actually, we don't know if McLaren are going to be showing a show car or not. If it's going to be the real one like Aston or it's a show car like Red Bull. I reckon McLaren will show us the real thing. But simplified, like we'll see, uh, you know, a, a, a version of it there in the studio in the MTC. Which will be a bit simplified. Look at this lo luscious. Oh! Oh! It's beautiful! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is it though. Is it time? Yes! It's car time! Let's go! Let's go! Come on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that is very different. I was not expecting that. There is a lot more black. That is, that is very different. Oh, and they got the same livery of the Extreme E. Oh, sick. Oh, it, ah, they've tied it all together. It's like the same livery for all three teams. Sort of. And that's McLaren Shadow, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's McLaren Shadow. That is very different to what I had in mind. Okay, gentlemen, can I get your first reaction? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love it. Um... Lovely colours, pops a lot more, I think, than, than I like the black. Those are some lot. skinny uh, ass side pods. Number three, where you'll be seeing now, number four so tiny. The They've gone but, for um, the size I'm zero. Not. I really like the front. The front looks better than the side. The side, it's, it's going to have to grow on me. The front, I really like this different blue. I really like the fact the whole rear wing is blue like this, blue and black from the front. So you've got that contrasting difference from the front to the back. The black usage is nice, like blends in with the nose to kind of just give it like the like the blue is almost like the nose tip, even though the black is. And the number, I like the big number. Too many times F1 teams, the number is tiny and you can't see it. So I like that. From the side view, it's going to have to grow on me. It's going to have to grow on me for sure. I mean, that's the only side view we have right now. From the side view, it's going to have to grow on me for sure. Um, I think if there was a sponsor here, it would tie it together a lot more. I think we're going to see a sponsor there in the future that's going to be there. And that will tie it together um, a, a lot nicer, I think, because it looks a bit plain on, on the top. But the rest of it, the blue streak coming all the way down the side, I like. Kind of, I, I feel like it could have blended here. But overall, it's, 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 it's different. And I like it. I like the difference of the, the black... And just different shapes. It's not the same like the, the whole side pod's blue and then the rest of it's orange. Actually, they've actually tried to go a bit different on the shapes. From the top down, you can see what I mean. Like, there's just a, this big chunk of orange. So, I think with sponsors, it's going to look really, really cool. For, I love this bit, actually. Hang on. I like this bit. It looks like a, like, like an orange streak line on the side pods. But let's talk about the side pods. They look tiny. These side pods are tiny. Tiny side pods. This is a size zero McLaren. It's a bit chunkier on this, this part, but we know that's because of the Mercedes engine housing. But the front of the side pods and this entire shape here, very tapered, very nice. I like it. I'm liking the vibe there. And again, uh, the second team only to show us DRS connected on the back of it, like Aston Martin did. So they've gone for a different housing. Uh, McLaren have gone for the two, uh, for, uh, um, Aston Martin went with the two prong. We've got the one prong connecting onto the DRS flap. Um, the side pods are, yeah, I think that's, uh, if we look from the front, I wouldn't say the, the, the inlets are wider than Haas, clearly. The inlets are wider than Haas, wider than Aston Martin. But then at the same time, compared to Aston, the side, the whole, the, the whole side pod structure is shrink wrapped a little bit more. You got to say on the renders though, they've definitely simplified it. So there's probably things they're hiding, especially this entire area. We zoom in. This entire floor, like, look how plain this looks. This looks so plain on the barge board and floor area. So I think there's a lot they're hiding that we won't know until pre-season testing, until, you know, Bahrain, race one, that are going to work in with the side pod arrangement. So we've still got a lot to see with that. The nose, height-wise, you can see it's a bit lower than the Aston Martin. They've not gone with that similar, very high mounting point. So they've gone a little bit lower. Um, but obviously, different philosophies for different cars. They're very low front wings, I've got to say. I feel like the Aston and Haas and the Red Bull show car, the wing went up to about here, I would say. So they've got quite shallow ones. Whether that's just the configuration they've gone with the, um, with, with, with the launch, 
I don't know. Um, I think compared to Aston, they've it looks a bit simpler on this part of the inside of the main plane. But obviously, again, could be just a bit of trickery, a bit of simplification on purpose, potentially. Um, yeah, not the. Re I think there's a lot they've simplified. I think there's a lot. But at the same time, they've clearly shown us the... The, the kind of character of the car, but they've definitely, like McLaren always do this. They did this in 2020, they did this in 2019. Every time there's an actual big new car, they do like to hide little key details. I will say, I don't know about any of you guys, this, this bit, this chunky bit here, like you can see it goes up like this and then it's very chunky and then tapers in. I'm getting like half Alpine vibes. Like it's almost like they've gone top heavy like Alpine but then shrinked it at the top. It's actually a very peculiar, I'm only noticing it now, a very weird shape for the engine cover at the top there. It's, uh, it, yeah, it, it's like, it goes like that, and then bulky like Alpine, and then shrinks in right at the bottom bit here. Very, very odd. Very cool. Very interesting. No blister bump. Yeah, good, good point in chat. No blister bump. So they've not gone for the completely tight as you want shrink wrap like Mercedes will probably have, like Aston have, where the Mercedes engine, the way it is, uh, the way it's structured, there's that little blister that's not there. So McLaren's gone a bit of a different route. I think they've copied and kind of taken inspiration from Alpine, what they did of having a lot of it bulked up at the front, but it allows for the bottom of it to be a bit thinner. So um, interesting. No undercut like Aston Martin though. No undercut. But the thing is, you don't need an undercut if your side pod's that skinny. Remember, the Aston came out to about here. So you don't need an undercut if the whole side pod's skinny. Remember Red Bull, you know, they've never really had much of an undercut for the last couple of years because they're side pods are so skinny. So, uh, interesting. Really, really interesting, I would say. Yeah, and different again. I love the fact the cars are different, um, you know, shape-wise, aero-wise, like, chassis-wise, and then aesthetically, something different. I wanted McLaren to go different. They have gone different. It's bold. It's very unique. I'll say that, and I think for the front, I really love it. The side's gonna have to grow on me. I will fully admit, it's gonna have to grow on me. I like the blue rims. I like... The fact they're just trying to do something different with the black lines and blue, but it's going to have to grow on me a little bit. The front on, though, I love it. I love it. But for the sake of the video, guys, the YouTube video, on chat right now, what are we saying? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Great. Love it. Beautiful. Let the people know on the video what are the general public saying. This is, remember, 100% of the global population is represented right here accurately this is what they're thinking of the car uh this is entirely a census of the whole globe of the f1 fandom is right here in this chat um so that's what they think that's what they make of it cheers guys so we've got a lot of uh, uh there is a bit of difference i feel like it's like marmite really nice huge w not great not liking it sick i'll have it looks pretty solid blue's amazing 10 out of 10 love it okay don't love the blue i don't know disappointing 10 out of 10 l's good i like it meh very it's it's it is polarizing polarizing you know what i bet mclaren will love that the fact it's polarizing people are talking about this livery a lot right what are they yeah. saying is this and he's he's i'm gonna have to read this out what are they saying question. fan questions that, in person it looks morale and a like the map makes it look a bit you know i'm gonna say a bit duller than it does in the studio photos no so whether it looks you know like this out in sunlight <laughs> or it's just because um, of the dark studio I don't know. I don't know. This is... I need to show my stream. This is the concept <laughs> someone made Niran based on colours he was talking about. Well, you know, people were saying to me when it leaked, oh, it's pink, it's pink. What is this? What is this? Everyone's saying W. <laughs> no, exactly, bro. Yeah, that is, that's a banger. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but so, I, I started talking about Alpine and how they pink have like... Pink and gold, music. you know. Yeah, and then someone was like, oh, yeah, it should be pink and brown. I was like, absolutely not. Right, okay. But me, anyway. And then Love they actually it. Made Love it. it. What the hell? I think I need new eyes here, mate. What the hell is <laughs> it? It's the fact that clearly they've gone, like, saturation and then hue. <laughs> so you can see the colours, like, distorting on the left. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on with the green? No, I, I allow it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's green in the background as well. <laughs> you know what? It's actually so dumb. It actually looks all right as well. <laughs> I, that that genuinely might be one of the greatest Formula One cars ever made. I think so. I think I, so. I, I honestly, it doesn't even matter how quick it is. Just oh look at that! Oh look at that! 
That is no genuinely. That, that's the greatest car. That's the greatest car yeah. to ever touch touch land. Yeah. yeah. Touch land. Yeah. <laughs> touch land. Not the not the sea. Not the sea. Yeah. Um, oh, cheers, there's, there's better ones. Gifted. Than sea. Appreciate it. When is the next car launch? Is it? On, it's on Monday, isn't it? For the Alpha Tauri, I think, on Valentine's Day. So I think I'll be back for Alpha Tauri's launch on Monday. So you can catch me there. Uh, 14th. So hope you guys have a great evening. Have a great weekend. Um, and I will catch you guys uh, on Monday, Valentine's Day, for the Alpha Tauri 